Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. Uh, my name is Didi. Yes, Didi is talking to be or not to be. If you want to get the t shirt, I would suggest to watch this complete video because there will be an option um, to get a t shirt in a very cheap way. So uh, maybe even free. Now let's uh, do a TA video on this beautiful Sunday morning, the 2nd of April in 2023, showing you six amazing charts also talking a little bit about the news i would have preferred to do a walk and talk but uh, yesterday i injured my shoulder with training so i can't lift the camera all the time so i need to give it a rest so that's why i'm doing a ta on this sunday now let's quickly jump into the first chart over bam bam here yes this of course is the four hour chart uh, on this four hour chart guys we can see uh, we are above that huge volume range there we are above 28,500 us dollar uh, we are down below the yellow stepping line but the yellow stepping line is very flat and when the stepping line goes flat and the bollinger band is not that wide that will mean there will be a huge move the move could be down to that green line 27400 or up now and breaking that 20 um, 8720 level that we are fighting now already since almost over here the first time that we tested that line 19th of march so that's a two-week period of testing that line and trying to break it and not being able and now again bam again and again and again there will be a moment that we break that line and that moment will be a beautiful move uh, where you can make a beautiful trade so i use the bam bam indicator like you see uh, on the bottom we can see that it's starting to use become green but there is still some yellowish the white line is too flat the blue line is in line with the line uh, white line needs to be above it and we are still down below the yellow stepping line so waiting for confirmations over there guys now zoom out bam the weekly the weekly you can see the bigger picture yes running against that dotted line is that the new higher high or can we through that higher high a little bit higher like at 20 uh, 32 000 us dollar i will show you later why 32 000 us dollar okay now on the other weekly that i shared this week on twitter i told you guys we are here we are in this moment where if we compare it to the previous two cycles in bitcoin and um, we are about to go into the new bull market and i've been talking about it already for a long time as you uh, have been following my videos for a very long time you know that I was one of the only ones that told you guys we are not going to go lower than that 15.6k we are not going to go to 12k everybody was shouting it I told you guys it is not going to happen it didn't happen and if we compare the previous two bull cycles the blue is 2021 um, the green is 2017 copy then this is still an amazing moment where there is a low risk of entering the market you can enter the market now here with a low risk and we will exit the market when there is a high risk and then enter again with a low risk but that will be all the way in 2026 27 so if you want to join this bull market this current one that we are building up to i would suggest to start buying bitcoins more and more bitcoins get rid of your us dollars because you won't be able to use them to buy bitcoins anymore as again the news came out now that i think even now bitrex is not allowing us customers anymore because of the laws in the united states so yes they are creating a devaluation of the us dollar crashing and at the same time they don't give the opportunity to the american people to exit in a safe way and store their capital safely in cryptocurrencies because you can't do it anymore in the future and that's also what the central bank's goal is in the future of course not giving you access to these beautiful um, tools like bitcoin assets like bitcoin that can give you a beautiful return on investment so we are here buy buy on the monthly we did close the candle beautifully at a level of 28,476. beautiful close beautiful candle opening now again closing in another 28 days uh, the next target should be that bluish line and that bluish line is exactly that 32k level that you just talked about in the previous part of the video yes there will be a beautiful line of resistance and then when we break it will be become a beautiful line of support now if we look in the bottom rsi doing what it needs to do breaking the yellow line and now we need an upward movement for the next couple one half two years MACD showing the same strength guys from dark red to light red and we will turn into green in the next couple of months and that will be a beautiful bull run again of 
one and a half to two years, to the, I think September 2025 will be the top. Now, did you just see the QR code somewhere there on the screen? That QR code, if you scan that, you get free family tokens. And that, for me, is incentivizing you to watch these videos. And the moment you watch these videos, you deserve to be rewarded. And you can be rewarded by scanning these tokens. And these tokens, by now, you can even stake. So the more videos you watch, the more QR codes you can scan or you can use the link down below the video to claim your tokens. I think it's only 100 people that can claim this uh, amount of family tokens. But if you claim them, um, you get them in your wallet. And then you can use them to state them. And if you state them, we are giving away around 600,000 family tokens in total for the next six months. So you have two options. So you have one option, you need to stake your tokens for about six months. Uh, and that will give you a beautiful uh, staking reward just by family token. Or option two, you need to stake them for four months. And then and you get 50% more, but you need to be providing liquidity as well. How to do it, you will find on the website, the bitcoinfamily.com products, staking family rewards. So yes, you heard it right. You can earn tokens by scanning that QR code, and then you can use these tokens in our store to buy all kinds of cool stuff like these t-shirts. So that is how we reward you for following our socials. Didn't create a family token to disrupt the monetary system. Created this one. Reward you guys for being there uh, for the Bitcoin family, following the videos, sharing the videos, sharing the content and doing all kinds of cool stuff. We even use the token to incentivize you to create new banners and all that stuff guys. So go uh, to the Telegram group or Discord to check out about that a little bit more. Now, you might be asking, bam, what did we do in the last couple of years in the month of April? Because we just started the month of April, so now the question should be, oh, what did we do in April in the last couple of years? Now, we are gonna check that by, for, I'm gonna check that for you now by using this website, uh, coinclass.com. You can beautifully find these uh, numbers over there. Um, as you can see, guys, yes, in April, an average, so we need to take a look at this whole column over here. This is this, ah, I can't do it. The column here on April. In average, we had a return of investment of around 17%. So we only have one, two, three, four negative months in the last 10 years, six positive months. And now April is starting, so it's positive as well at the moment, but we still have a lot of days. Um, so that means there's more positive months than negative months in the last couple of years. If you want to dig deeper in it, you can compare the months, of course, in the years bullish, bearish. Uh, we are now in 2023, so four months earlier we were in 2019. Now, that was a very bullish year. Four years, four months before that, one, two, three, was a bearish year in 2015. So we don't know for sure what, what April is going to do, but in average, it was a 17% return on investment. And the month after that will be May. A lot of people will say is May runaway. I still don't understand why. Because in May, there were one, two, three, four, five um, bearish years and five bullish years. But those bullish years were also really great years. 50%, 50%. That's like, that's a massive return of investment over there. You know? And there was only one bearish year, 35%, that was in the bear market. That was really bad. The rest was not that bad. In average, I think it was around 8% positive return on investment in May. So for me, the next two months looking very beautiful over there, guys. Now let's quickly jump in two more charts that I want to share with you over them here. This is the first one. Um, this chart is showing you the accumulation trend score, uh, which tells you that we, we are repeating a little bit what we did before. You can see that we create, create a cycle baseline, that dotted line in the middle, and then we come down below it. We have the bottom discovery over here. Where is the bottom? And then we work up again to that line over there, number A. So we did exactly the same. We had that baseline, bottom discovery, and then we worked up to that line again. And then we broke that dollar line. And from that was the bull run on again. So the target now is to find that dotted line. That would be around 35 to 40K. Break that line. And then you know for sure that the bull run is completely on again. And you can still triple your investment in my opinion from that moment on. Now, more important is this one over here. Why is this an important chart? Because this is the first time since 2019 that we see the short-term realized price. Over here, you can see that one, the red one, crossing the long-term realized price over there. 
the short term crossing the long term. That's the first time since 2019. And that is indicated for me as a start of a bull run. When the short term holders cross the long term holders, that is when people get like beautifully involved again into the industry, also the normal people again. And that's mostly an indication of the start of the bull run. And that is also BAM, what we see on this chart. You can see on this chart very beautifully as well that at the short to long term uh, SOPR ratio that we just talked about, the short to long term order, is now going negative again. And when that happens, look, at this chart you need to look the other way. So the bluish part, that is the bearish part, every time again, this is the bearish part over here, the bluish part is the bearish part, so like the bear market, that is the bear market. The moment we go red over here, that is the bull market. Then we go here is the bull market. You went here is the bull market. We are now crossing that red line, and it will mean that it's the start of the bull market. Very simple chart to understand. Bam! Then we have another one over here, also interesting. This one is showing you how many wallets of addresses are holding more than 0.01 coins. That's almost 12 million wallets that are now holding 0.01 Bitcoin. That's almost 12 million addresses. This means that more and more retail investors are entering the market again and that are holding on smaller amounts of Bitcoin at the moment. Same thing showing you short-term holders crossing the long-term holders. Beautiful start of the bull run. And that's also what Plan B is um, expecting, guys, because he tweeted this week again. Um, he tweeted beautifully. Look, guys, uh, we are now in that dark green level over there here. And we're going to the lighter green level that like we did over there and there will be a moment we will cross that dark gray line that 70k and we will hunt for that next line it will take time but we will get there 2025 you can see is that line that would be between 100k and 1 million k i think it's going to be a little bit lower i think it's going to be around here between 1 and 150k but who am i uh, that's my target for the bull market but that's a very conservative target at the moment because i still want to see if we will create a double top again like a distribution top or if we do a blow off top a blow off top we can take to higher levels than a distribution top so let's see what is going to happen now guys that was everything for today for the ones that couldn't scan the code here you can scan the code again now a little bit bigger um, hopefully you your telephone can scan it you just need to open your camera app and then point it to this one scan it and you will claim your tokens that's how simple it works guys now bam 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 back to here um, i hope you really enjoyed all this information if you didn't enjoy the information give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell i wish you an amazing sunday and thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again and yes do leave a comment what do you think about the t-shirt to be or not to be do you want to have one then uh, comment down below and maybe i will give away one or two to some people that comment every time again below the videos thank you for watching see you tomorrow bam